Hi guys, it's Maaike. Today I'm back for Caroline Design with an autumnal card and an interactive card. I call it a dry shaker. I don't know if that's the proper term, but I just came up with it. <laughs> Off camera, I already colored this digi from Bugaboo Stamps. It's called Black Cat Pumpkin Peeker. I linked it down below if you're interested. And I just thought I should add a bit of shimmer and shine on the nose and eyes. But it's more about the technique and that already took half an hour to show so i sped it up twice the speed of course i'm going to use carline design stamps but any you have will work as well it says um, autumn greetings so that's uh, well, available across the industry i guess and um, using foam foam tape post-it tape to mask off the center of my card and I'm using the edges of my card base to get it straight. I don't have these colors in oxides so I pulled out my Versa Magic and well they're near dead I think um, but uh, if you have these in oxides I would suggest you use aged mahogany or fired brick for this one this perfect plumeria then I have red brick which could be barn door in uh, oxides and pink grapefruit is abandoned coral or similar and that is actually still juicy because I have the refill for that so I recently refilled it I don't have all the refills and I'm not sure I'm going to get it I might just get the oxides because there yeah I didn't know to start off I buy the small ones because for the price point you can buy two colors instead of one oxide so you, you know you build up your collection a little bit quicker and you can buy refills if you want to not sure I want to see how much darker it is in <laughs> when I just got them so just to show you uh, my friend Mary Polanco she sent me this chart and you see aged mahogany and fire brick are similar and abandoned coral and red brick yeah use what you have if you don't have these you can use mementos or see i don't have them <laughs> um any dye ink any chalk ink that you have it doesn't really matter just slap on some color watercolor even as well but you should change your card base of course and it should be a panel i start with a card base because that's habit <laughs> and you should make uh, yeah one layer cards and it was a bit stupid but I just cut it off and two of the leaves that are in the set and I use black because I thought the contrast is nice but you can do them in, in brown or oranges or white or um, gold embossing I think or copper rose gold that would be really nice and I tried second and third generation not sure I like it <laughs> but yeah and because it's very so fine I thought I should just heat set it to be sure and I think this melted my post-it um, what is it glue adhesive I don't know because there was a little sticky stuff on the card <laughs> could also be a bit of candy that was on my fingers but I don't think so. No. <laughs> yeah. I don't admit to anything. So my ink blender panel is a little bit small maybe compared to my Digi. But I want my Digi as big as possible. So either I make the, the, the ink blender panel bigger but then there will be no room for my sentiment. Or I make a different kind of panel. Which I always do already. <laughs> I thought I should just try something else but um, yeah, it just gives you the hint there's something behind there yeah, that's nice I think but you can of course make it as big as you want or leave it out use just a piece of paper that I had lying on my desk I was I actually started this card with a, a different mechanism but I couldn't make it work because it was too detailed so make sure you're Digi 
has plenty of um, solid space, you know. And I don't know if this is necessary, but I, I rounded the corner so it doesn't get stuck because we're going to build it up with a little bit of foam tape. And then just marking it where I think I want the hole in the middle, of course. I mean. But because I already have the strip, I wanted to make sure the strip actually fits. And that strip is actually our shaking mechanism. And I'm mounting it just by punching or die cutting two holes with my nesting dies. And I, I grab the smallest one and the one that's a little bit bigger. They shouldn't be bigger than your stamp or image because you don't want them to show. Although I don't think it makes much of a difference. It just looks more professional, I guess, if you can't see. And then um, I'm doing it off camera. As you know, it doesn't fit in this in the shot. I went for the same size in the end. The bigger you can make your holes, the more it will shake. And you can make them oblong shape or maybe semi-curved if you have those really small interactive card things. See what you have. For now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And as I said, it's from Carline Design Hello Herst. And at first I grabbed a big one, but it doesn't really fit on the white space. And normally I wouldn't care, but my cat is big as well. So I went for Herstgoedjes. It kind of means, uh, as I said, autumn greetings or autumn hello, more goedjes is amicable. See that I didn't like it, so. Lucky for me, there's two of them. So I went for the smaller one. And there's also one that's just a typed sentence. And there's plenty of words that you can build your own sentences, which is really fun. But yeah, I kept it simple. And I'm using my grid to make it straight. But yeah, yeah, yeah. straight and Micah, you know. <laughs> they don't go together. No. So I, I grabbed the memo sheet thingy just to see. And it was straight, of course. Because when you test it, it's straight. When you don't test it, it's crooked. It's Murphy's Law. So I'm heat setting this as well. And I will clean off the stems later and just thought I would do that off camera. And I also grabbed these enamel dots in red and, and orangey tones, but I thought they might interfere with the shaking if you don't place them properly. So I thought I'd just leave them out. And this strip is um, uh, not sure, 250 grams, 120 pounds paper. And it needs to be quite sturdy. Of course, you don't want it to break, but you also could use mica, acetate, plastic, whatever you have. A bit of Yupo if you have it left, because that doesn't tear. And then I, I did pull out my perler beads and glue dots. I thought just a foam thingy will also work. And this is a strip that I had left over from cutting out my cat. It's uh, that Crafters Companion Nina Ultra Smooth Solar White Panel bit stuff that I use for marker coloring. And I thought that might. I don't think it needed it, but it makes the pumpkin cat a little bit sturdier, maybe a bit more rigid. Because see, now it moves. It's so cute. <laughs> it don't give me a. The bigger the holes, as I said, the more it can move, because that makes sense, right? This is, yeah. Pearly beads, I can't get it open, so I, <laughs> I cut a hole. And I use my tweezers to get them out, which is a pain. But yeah, that's it. Um, I, as I said, I run at the corners. I don't think it's really necessary, but you know, my brain said it needed it. But because I used the 140 pounds panel or card base, 
that I made into a panel. Um, it's quite rigid already and you don't need a lot of foam tape. So that will be my tip. If you don't have really strong rigid card bases or uh, card panels, uh, consider sticking two on top of each other. You make it laminate that way and then it will become thicker. But make sure you can still die cut it. Of course you need to make those holes in there so don't make it too thick. But yeah, I'm using only one layer of foam tape. I think that's enough. And yeah, that was bugging me. I went outside the lane. <laughs> and that little plum colored. This is its perfect color to go with the ink blending that you can't see. So <laughs> I thought I'd use it. it. Saves me putting it back later. So, But this paper comes pre-cut and it says it's half a sheet. But it's not because I always have to cut off bits. And um, my card bases, uh, they're cut at the printers. And it's a digital copy paper. I might have mentioned this before. And they have a machine that cuts them in half. <laughs> it's so cool. And um, that was the same that way as well. So it's not me this time. <laughs> But yeah, I forgot to cut off the back as well. So that's what's me. <laughs> yeah, it's still sticky. I thought about rounding the corners with my corner chomper egg as well. or But I already put the foam tape on there. So I didn't want to mess it up now. And I'm just sticking it on top. And as I said, two layers if you fancy them, but I didn't. And the card is done. And you see, it does shake. It's a bit hard to catch it on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry if it gives you a headache, but it does move. Uh, it's inspired by my pendulum clock that I'm going to make next week. I already made it, but it's going live the 12th. So, thank you for watching. I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry it's a black cat, but uh, this is called Black Cat. And I have black cats, tuxedo cats. So, <laughs> I didn't want to use brown and oranges because of the pumpkin. But anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.